I just want to start off with a quote. Um, Anne Frank once said, how wonderful it is that no one need to wait a single moment before they start to improve the world. I want you to keep that in the back of your mind. Um, does anybody know what this is, what I'm showing? To go guess. I can't hear you. You were my group thing. <laughs> Factories? <laughs> Anybody else have a guess? Goodwill. Goodwill, close. There's a donated item. It's the trash for treasure sale. Um, have y'all heard of it before? Have you donated to it before? Anybody? Nikki? Okay. Well, the trash for treasure sale is a partnership between Penn State and the Center County United Way. Um, the sale starts with a donation of wonderful, usable items from Penn State resident hall students like ourselves here at University Park, which numbers 14,000 students. Um, entering into its 10th year this year, the program has raised more than $420,000 for the Century, for the Center County United Way, and has saved nearly 590 tons of goods from being shipped to a landfill. Each year, Penn State averages over 190 tons in move-out waste. Now, 190 tons doesn't really mean much unless you know how much 190 tons really is. Well, 190 tons is equivalent to 23 full-grown elephants. I think that would maybe give you a better idea of how much trash we're really talking about. The Center County United Way and its partner agencies reach approximately, approximately one in three people in Center County. These partner agencies include the Red Cross, the YMCA, and the State College Food Bank. Now, the one in three people in Center County doesn't really mean much unless you know how many people are in Center County. Anybody have a guess? Average area? Center County doesn't just include State College, but like the little townships around it. No guesses? Well, it's 1,000, 100, 53,990 people. Um, not only are these people helped by being able to purchase your donated items, but also the money that the United, the United Way gets from selling your donated items helps improve the YMCA, get more supplies for the Red Cross. So your donated items help twofold. Just to give you an idea of how many people need these gently used items, from the 2009 census, 37.44% of the 1,050 153,990 people that, that live in State College, 37.44% live below the poverty line. In a four-person family, the poverty line for 2009 was $22,000. Um, to give you an idea as to how much money is actually raised through this and how popular it is, last year the United, Ra the United Way raised $57,444. So where do you come in? Each, if, if, if each of us donate three usable items to the Trash for Treasure sale, we can contribute to the greatness that is this campaign. Trash to Treasure makes it very simple to get involved and to give back to a community that has all welcomed us with open arms. At the end of both the fall and spring semesters, during both the last week of classes and finals week, there are collection areas in each of our commons areas or in the lobby of your building. So, Chelsea, where do you live? Like right now, Pollock. Mm -hmm. In Pollock. Um, in the bottom of your building, there should be a bin that's labeled clothes, miscellaneous items, electronics. So you can donate there, or it's in the Pollock Commons. Um, <coughs> Finney, where do you live? Oh, you live on campus. <laughs> Finney doesn't live on campus. <laughs> Where do you live? In East. You live in East. At the bottom of your building, there's bins labeled, and there's also bins in the family dining area. Um, the collections began yesterday, and they will continue until May 13th. The actual sale isn't until June 4th at the Hills Plaza on South Atherton. South Atherton. These pictures show, well, it's normally held in Beaver Stadium, but there's construction going on at Beaver Stadium right now, so they moved it. Um, through your donation of three items that you don't want, not only do you help the community by helping reduce waste and the ter terrible environmental effects that landfills have, but out of the 190 tons that I previously mentioned, Trash and Treasure helps recycle 42% of that. So what can you donate? You can donate bedding, like sheets, 
blankets, pillows, clothing, carpets, toys, athletic equipment, you no know, frisbee you don't want, a baseball, computers, printers, fans, appliances like irons, coffee makers, um, old CD players, furniture, and even canned goods or non-perishable items. Now, those are just a few examples, but they'll take any gently used item. And if you don't want it, chances are someone else does. Now imagine if every year we increased our donations by just one, or we told our friends about how to get involved. We could potentially reduce the move out waste to almost nothing. Instead of, a, instead of the, move out, the move in and move out days being the most waif, wasteful, as is the trend with most, co most colleges, Penn State can make, it, can make those days the most resourceful. Those days will be a special occasion when Penn State students can give back to Center County. It could be a university-wide community service event that resident hall students could take part of every year. As students, we could help clothe, furnish, accessorize other families in the area. We are, we are a wasteful generation, and we will throw away the simple things that we don't want anymore, not realizing their real worth, the real value, especially to those that are less fortunate than us. And what, do, and that will, and what we're throwing away isn't always waste. As the old saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So today, when you go back to your room, before you check your email, before you sign into Facebook, open your closet, find three things that you don't want. As the semester draws to a close and you begin to pack, anything that you don't want anymore, place it in the trash or treasure bin instead of the trash bin. You remember what it's like when you were a kid and you got a new toy. It didn't really matter where the toy came from, but you had a new toy. So if you have a teddy bear from an ex that you don't want anymore, put it in the trash bin and <laughs> put it in the trash or treasure bin and you can make a little girl's day. Now, what am I gonna donate? Well, since I came to Penn State, I have put on a few pounds. So, <laughs> these jeans will not fit, and neither will these. So those both are going to the trash or treasure bin. Also, this fan, I broke it. Um, it works fine. It just, it won't, it either goes down or up. It doesn't really go in the middle. So I'm going to donate that too. It can cool down someone's house. It works fine though. It really does. <laughs> So it's just that easy. I'm recycling those items that otherwise would just go into a landfill. Fill. Not only are these items out of my hair, they're not they're giving me more space in my closet, they're not taking up space on my nightstand, but I'm also giving them to someone who actually needs them. An American psychologist and philosopher, William James, would say, act as if what you do makes a difference, because it does. I was standing in the lobby, and there was a huge quote. <laughs> and I was like, hmm. So I just ran with it. 